Hi, so this is the third video in a playlist on rounding and estimation. Um, it's pitched at roundabout level, grade C um, in high school maths at GCSE. And the type of question that we've been looking at would be something like this. So it's 9.73 multiplied by 4.12. And that's all divided by 0 0.0214. OK, so what we're looking to do is to take those numbers and calculate an estimate of this information. OK, so the general advice is to um, change or to round each of these numbers to one significant figure. And if you have a look in the previous videos, then there are some examples of very similar questions to this one. So at the moment I've got 9.73. Well, to one um, significant figure, I look at my first significant figure, which is 9. Um, I'm going to need to change that because the 7 is going to round this up. So it's actually going to become 10. And then I'm going to multiply that by 4. So the first significant figure there is 4. I don't need to change that. I'm going to divide that by oh, 0 0.02. And this is the bit that's going to cause the difficulty because it's OK. The, the multiplication at the top is absolutely fine. So you've got 10 times 4 is 4. 40, and then I'm dividing that by 0 0.02, which is a bit awkward. Um, so there's a couple of ways that you can do it. The one that I generally tend to advocate is to manipulate the fraction to suit yourself. Because the whole point with fractions is that providing you do the same to the top and the bottom, the fraction doesn't change. It's rather like saying, well, I've got a third. Well, if I've got a third and I multiply the bottom by 2, that becomes 6. Well, providing I multiply the top by 2, that becomes 2 6. Well, 2 6 and 1 third are exactly the same fraction. OK, so I'm going to use the same idea with this. Um, and what I'm going to say is I've got 40 divided by 0 0.02. Well, the 0 0.02 is causing the problem. So... I'm going to move the decimal point along two places so that the bottom is 2 because it's much easier to divide by 2 than it is to divide by 0 0.02, except with the calculator. OK, so I've moved my decimal points along two places, which means that I have to do exactly the same with the top. Now, currently it's there, and I've got to move along one, two places, so the top is going to become 4,000. So I'm in a position now where I can uh, perform that calculation, 4,000 divided by 2. How many 2s are there in 4,000? Well, there's actually 2,000 of them. And that's the answer to this question, which is the same as 40 divided by 0 0.02. It's basically saying how many 0 0.02s are there in 40? Well, it's exactly the same as saying how many 2s are there in 4,000. So the answer to this particular estimation is 2,000. Um, I hope that's been helpful to you. Please do have a look at the other videos in the playlist. Uh, please do subscribe to the site, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.